And what is up everybody, Jeremy here, excited to bring to you another Starfield ship building video. Today we have the Nighthawk X4 coming at you, and this is a glitched ship build. And if you want to find all the parts that we use in this build, you can find it in a Google Sheet, which is linked in the description below. Of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, as everything does help out. Now, this is a glitched ship build once again, and we can have a nice video that covers a lot of the glitches that we like to use, many ways how to use them, and that covers pretty much everything that we like to do but of course we've integrated some other glitches that will help us be more efficient and yes i will update that video soon but let's get to the build let's go ahead and break this up into or change the color and start breaking it up into multiple sections and multiple parts to help us figure this thing out together so let's do it together so let's just go let's go let's figure this out and here we are at the top so we're going to start off first. We like to, The first part we like to always start off with will be the landing bay. So we've got the Hope 4 landing bay. Right on top of that, we have a Hope Tech control station. In front of this, we have a Hope 11 docker. On top of that, we're going to bring over the Armstrong 10 cockpit. The Hope Tech um, companion way. Yeah, fuselage A. And it already has two PBO-175 auto helium beams attached to it, along with a Vanguard obliterator auto projector. To the back of this, we're going to bring over a sheared flow reactor, and then we're going to start glitching some stuff in here too. Let me see. Like, I'm not sure how I... I know. No, we got this to glitch. We got this to glitch. We got this to move under as well. So yeah, this pretty much starts up a bridge section that we kind of need to establish. So we need to... Yeah, we need to start glitching some stuff in here. So we're going to start off by... Where do we start glitching this off of? I guess we need to work from the bottom. So we're gonna move the Hope Tech landing bay real quickly and place underneath that a um, duplicator Hope Tech control station. Bring over a Nova Bracer underneath. And what we're gonna do is just a standard duplication glitch because this does not have a snapping point on the top, bottom, or on the back. So what we're going to do is do a standard duplication glitch. Rules for this is, one, you'd be able to duplicate the um, the module that you want to duplicate at the star yard you're at. So you need to be able to, to be able to duplicate it. So if I hold control right here, you'll see the options. I have the option to undo, redo, and duplicate. So in other words, duplicate, you can purchase it or get more copies of it at the star yard you're at. So I'm just going to hit Control G and I'll duplicate up right there. So then I'm going to move it here. And on controller, you're just selecting the module by tapping RB and then hitting Y. So on the PC mouse, I'm just clicking on it and hit Control G. It should move up once. Perfect. And I want to move it up again, I think. For now, maybe? <laughs> I don't even know. But that, that should be good enough. And then we're going to move over... Actually, we need, I know we need to move this guy in here. How do I? How did I do that? Oh, duplication buddy glitch. All right, here we go. So there's one guy. Well, I, 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 I gotta do the same thing. So I, I, I'm, I had this here. I placed it on top and just do a duplication glitch. It moved up first is fine. Duplication glitch down. Perfect. That's all I needed to do. Nice. And then on top of this, we're gonna bring over a Nova Bracer. And in front of that, we're gonna do, we're gonna bring in the Nova Calling 1LTF, and we're gonna do a flip glitch. So rules for the flip glitch is one, you need to be able to, um, you need to have the module already in the work area. Two, you need to have a free and available snapping point for it to snap to. So this is a, a flip glitch to a free and available snapping point. And three, you need to be able to flip it right there. So I'm tapping Z on the keyboard on the controller, you tap Y. So I'm going to bring it over, flip once, flip twice, cancel the movement by tapping either tab or escape or B on the controller, and double click the rest of the ship and it's already in there. So that's perfection right there. We do a duplication buddy glitch to move these two down. So let's continue the trend. Build on this. So we have a Nova Bracer here, another Nova Bracer, and another Nova Bracer. Um, oh, I should undo this now. It's like we're already done with this. Let's move the hope for landing bay back in and we have an ng20 landing gear right there to the back of this we're going to bring in a hope 5 landing gear and we're going to do is bring in this piece right here and we're going to do a flip glitch to close an occupied snapping point now 
So we're bringing the tail cowling, get to the position where you want to, flip once, flip twice, cancel the movement by tapping either escape or tab, or B on the controller. Select the rest of the ship by double clicking on it or tapping LB on the controller. Then what I want to do is hit spacebar on the rest of the ship, let things turn green. So either hit spacebar or A on the controller. And then when things turn green, you can hit spacebar or enter to accept the movement or A on the controller again. So hit it and double click, make sure everything's connected and everything is perfect. Now this is where things may get a little bit weirder. So let's just get the setup first. So we have all these pieces and what's funny, what's interesting is that I placed um, a demo spine F. So even here, right, even here, I decided let's put a demo spine F right here. So it's kind of adds more texture. So flip glitch to already occupied and snap, uh, already occupied and um, taken, <laughs> or so, what did, I, what did I call it before? Yeah, flip glitch to the already occupied snapping point, there it is. So flip once, flip twice, cancel the movement. Oops, cancel the movement. Double click the rest of the ship, hit space bar or A on the controller, let things turn green, accept the movement, and there it is. And then on top of that, I started, so I kind of just broke this apart for right now. I put in a um, demo spine G because I have something else that I want to start glitching here in a little bit as well um, so yeah we'll leave that there for now um, but yeah let's continue building this section let's continue build all this out and we'll kind of just undo these pieces later Our, um, just trying to figure out order real quick yeah that should be okay we should be okay Yeah, we'll be okay. So what I did here was I just um <laughs> I was like I was like, I'm still trying to say like, should I do it? Should I not do it? Let's just yeah, let's keep moving ahead. So we're gonna bring these guys back in just for now. Just to hold the position and we'll kinda like undo things as we move forward. So this one I'm just doing this is the Hope Tech Pipes A. This doesn't have a flip, but it has a variation. So I'm going to do a variation to close an occupied snapping point. Cancel the movement. Double click the rest of the hit ship. Spacebar in. Perfect. And let's continue building out the rest of this. So from here, there needs to be one more piece there, right? Yeah. So. I feel like it was just this, and then we had this guy in here, flip that in, boom, this guy, and I'll just duplicate it up, yeah, I mean this, then yeah, let me get it going, so then this guy, so that's the um, demo spine D, bring over Hope Tech Pipes, flip glitch that one in, standard flip glitch. On the bottom, we have a Nova Cowling with a PBO 300 Auto Alpha turret on the bottom of it, facing the back. On, and then we had this whole set. Yes, we had this whole set here. Mm. <laughs> so try to remember this. So this was, yeah, that needed to be there so that this guy, Demo Man C, can come up. This was this here. At any rate, we got this. We'll, we'll figure it out. So, demo tail A. Bring it on top. Demo spine F. Flip glitch to an already occupied snapping point. Hit space bar. There we go. Demo spine F. Flip glitch. And then on the bottom of this, we have a skeg A. Flip glitch to an already occupied snapping point. Then demo spine F. Flip glitch to an already occupied snapping point. Boom. And then on top of this, what we did 
Was did I just move this over or did I actually I think I just grabbed all this, moved it over. Bring this up, bring this up, duplicate. Bring this side, duplicate, I duplicate one out of one, another one of these, bring this over. Oh, shoot. Duplicate another one up. That's fine. Duplicate down once. And I think I did a duplication buddy glitch here, so I'm gonna duplicate another bracer. Use this in my buddy stack. Select the Hope Tech Thruster, shift click, drag the Nova Bracer so the only way it can go down. So that's where the reason why this works is because there's a free and open snapping point to the bottom of the Nova Bracer, and that will move everything else you select down with it. Boom, so that's duplication buddy glitch. Delete these guys. Move this section all back in. Yeah, move it all back in, and there you go. So that's the tail. Woo! A lot going on there. All right. So now that we have that accomplished, we have a lot of other pieces we need to work with. I'm trying to remember if this was a Nova Bracer. I know this was. So these are duplication buddy glitch down. So we have all these pieces that we have. I don't know if we need them. <laughs> it's like, do we need these? Oh yeah, so that's like the only thing that we need to do for this part before we go into more glitches is move in our Hercules DT160 engines. So let's go ahead and move those guys in. Perfect. Okay. What should we do next? Let's work on the wings. I know we have this guy, so this Vanguard bulwark. I think we had this like on top of the RD3000, so just I'll put that there now. And that means I just need to bring this back in and duplication glitch it down. Boom, that's good. And I'll just look at these. All right, so here we go. Let's work on this wing, and it's the same thing as the other side. So I'm just going to do this part for you to demonstrate it. So this front is the side of the wing. We're going to bring in a Demo Swing E. Boom, there you see already have the Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projector already attached. And we're going to do a bridge between the Wing E to the Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projector to the Demo Swing E. So that's, that's, the, that's the trajectory. What we're going to do is add a... Um, demo swing B right here to help us guide where it should be. So I want it to be like right about there. So about the same width. So flip glitch, cancel the movement, double click, and now you see that everything is still attached. So that's perfection right there. Oops. I, I just deleted the whole ship. <laughs> okay, there we go. Alright, let's start breaking this apart. Let's see what's going on here. all this stuff happening there you go okay so first things first we want to move over the um, Nova wing it already has a PBO 175 auto helium beam attached and what you're gonna do is use a duplication glitch duplication buddy glitch to move this up one spot so I'm gonna select the weapon shift with drag select the bracer duplicate it oh a duplicated side because I did I didn't close this off yet so now that's closed Right, so any duplication glitch or any glitch you'd like to do, it likes to move to a free and open available snapping point before it likes to do what you want it to. So there you go. I moved it up one spot. Perfect. Delete the one on the bottom. I'm going to add an equipment plate to it right here. Perfect. I'm going to move out the Nova Wing and then just bring this one straight down. So just duplicate straight down. And then I'll move over a Nova Bracer, place it, in, place it in, delete this floating equipment plate and weapon, delete the weapon here, and then bring back the Nova Wing, flip glitch it in, boom, and that's that's the spot where we want to be. Okay, I know I didn't, I know I, I, this is not the same right now, but that's fine. That's fine. So yeah, now we what we did was we put this a little bit under, or over the current spot <sighs> so I should do it the correct way I'm, I'm kind of cheating because I don't I don't feel like it matters 
but this is technically a little bit higher. That's fine. It's fine because like the other one, I'm not I'm not trying to attach a landing gear to it, so it doesn't need to be exactly where it should to make it work. Or yeah, it, it doesn't need to be exact. So, um, but if you want it, you want to try to keep it consistent with the other side. But I know this side is lower currently right now. But anyway, let's continue. Let's go ahead and move over the um, braking engine. Yeah, bring it in right there, and then bring another one. We're going to flip glitch to an already occupied snapping point. Double click the rest of the ship, hit spacebar, let it connect. Perfect. Let's move over the supernova engine. Bring over the Hope Tech pipes. Variation glitch that one in. Boom. And then on the bottom, what we're going to do is we're going to add in this set right here. We're going to start with a porthole. Put it on the bottom of that Nova Bracer. Then move out the Nova Bracer. Bring in an equipment plate. Actually, don't... Don't move out the Nova Bracer. We need to duplicate it down. Duplication glitch it down. There you go. Oops. There. So keep it in the same spot. Move it out. Then bring in an equipment plate. And then bring in the PBO 300 Auto Alpha turret. And I like it facing the inside so it has a bigger range of um, area that you can target. To bring it in, you need to flip glitch that one in. So Flip it all the way back to its original, to the orientation that you want. Then select that Nova Bracer and bring it back up. Boom. Like, I don't think you need, hold on a sec. I think you just, all you needed was a standard duplication glitch. Let's try it. Oops, wrong side. There. Cool. Standard duplication glitch. Yep, that's what I thought. Boom. All right, so that's your side right here. Let's finish it off by bringing in, first, we're going to bring in the Pinpoint 3G landing gear to the bottom, connecting it to the Hope 4 landing bay. So bring it in, flip glitch that one in, or you can do the variation glitch where you just swap through the variations. Same principle as the flip glitch, but you just swap through variations. So I think this one I need to, or don't need to, I just bring it in, and it's fine. <laughs> Alright, let's bring in a Nova Kaling. Same thing. This has both flips and variations. So I believe I connected it right here. Flip glitch that one. Okay, so this one's probably not going to be correct because it's kind of finding another available snap point. So let's see. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we're going to undo, bring this back in, and just go through the variations instead. Variations usually like to stay in the same spot. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. So another variation glitch. Bring in a Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projector, and this finishes this side of the that. Yeah, that finishes that side. We're gonna do this. All we're gonna do on the other side is bring it in. I knew it. I knew it. See, it's it's this one's higher. Use a different um, fractional. All right. Let's fix it. Here we go. Let's move it in. Yeah, move that in. So that's the same. The other, the part that's not the same is how I set this piece up. So you can see, yeah, you can tell here it's lower. It's fine. It's fine. So bring us in. Um, duplicate this guy. Oops. Duplicate the weapon. PBO. Perfect. Bring this guy in. Duplicate up. Duplicate this weapon up. Boom. Move, um, yeah, move this guy out to the whole wing. Move it all out. Oh, yeah, so let me show you how to attach. So, this is the only thing, because, like, you need to hold both triggers and tap A on a controller. So, let's do that. Let's zoom in. So, we're going to hit both, hold both triggers, tap A, and that's how you're able to directly add a um, module to a snapping point so that's something that you can't find in a module or find it in a manual all right and then duplication glitch it down boom there you go then we're gonna move oh, a Nova Bracer underneath it perfect we're gonna take this Nova wing move the weapons and then flip glitch that in Double click, everything's good. Perfect. Alright, 
quickly add these guys in. Oop, I'm just gonna select both of them. Move this guy in. Move this guy in. Uh, variation glitch that one in. Um, put uh, underneath this a porthole. Underneath the Nova Bracer. Duplication glitch the uh, duplication buddy glitch the the bracer down. Delete the one up top. Move over the equipment plate. Flip glitch the PBO 300 in there. Boom. Duplicate this back up. Delete it. Perfect. Move over our pinpoint 3G landing gear. Bring in and variation glitch this guy in. Nice. Variation glitch this guy in. Oh, I saw it move. Hold on. We'll see. Ah, it moved up. So if it does that, it's fine. You can just do a duplication glitch to make it move to the right spot. Then Vanguard Obliterator Archbector to the same spot. Perfect. So that's how we have it. Next part, we have these set of wings to work with. So this one's fine. Easy. Just put, put it in. Next part is a little bit more involved. So we're going to move the Nova Bracer. We have this guy right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this Horizon weapon mount. We had a spot right here. So there's something else. So I'm, I'm going to like bring it down here. So this is like these little, I guess, wing engine pieces are a little bit off the grid. So it's about halfway down off the grid. Oh no, this is a third right now. Oh. Oh yeah, it totally, totally changed how it looks. <laughs> I didn't go halfway. So yeah, originally this was halfway. I now made it a third. So maybe... Um... Shoot, I totally messed this up, guys. Oh, I need to redo it. Hold on, hold on. No, I, I want to show you my mistake. So, I did a, a a drop down to make it go like one third or or three eighths. Originally, it was supposed to be one half. So, for me to get that one half in this setup, um, shoot, how would I get out of this? Yeah, cause it's it, it's significantly higher. So this is the, it, it, would, it should be even with this, and you can see it's it's higher up. Um, and I, I didn't notice that. So what, what should I do? What should I do? Should I, all right, I'm gonna grab all these guys really quick. Um, I could undo. I'll I'll just undo. I'll I'll undo. I'll undo to the part where. Because I, I need to at least demonstrate how to get it halfway in this setup. Which I actually don't know how. Oh, there is a way. Okay, there is a way. There is a way. It's like, what, it's like, what am I saying? There is a way. Okay. So... All right, so that's that's this side. This side is good, or I hope it's good. Yeah, if you see, if we bring this in now, halfway, right? Well, I'm not sure I can get. Oh, I used two different methods. That's the only thing. Hold on. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. So I need a module that's current. That's at the um, right height. Let's <laughs> so think this through. Because it's not at the right height. Alright. This is what I did. This is what I'm going to try to do. 
Um, all right, so it has one. It has to be on the right height. Duplicate it. We're gonna get the horizon weapon mount. Let's see. Let me. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna see how it looks. We're gonna grab a weapon. Pull. Cool. And then we select this. Select the weapon, and that moves it up a halfway point. Right. Right. And then just duplicate it up because it's up a little higher. And that should match. Let's find out. No, this piece should match. Oh gosh, let's delete it. Yeah, oh, it's a, it's a little off. Let's see. Bah! <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have done it this way. I had, I had a feeling that this would bite me and it, it is biting me right now. Shoot. How would I do this then? Here, maybe this will do it. We have this here. Right, okay, we have, we have these pieces. Bring it over and then maybe from here. Just move it down one half. It's too low. Hmm. Let's find out. Let's find out how high it is. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for figuring this out with me. Because I totally used a different method uh, when I built this. And because like... Yeah, what I did was duplicate another ship. So yeah, that's, that's pretty good. It's a little bit higher. But let's use that. Let's use that. Alright, so we'll, we'll do the same thing on the other side. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Because, like, yeah, the, the method I chose that I did before, it's not easily, it cannot be easily duplicated. Okay, so what we did was we brought the Nova Bracer over. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me, guys. Let's show you the accidents, or, or the, let's show you, the, like, that, yeah. Let's show you all of it. So you know what's real. What happens? Ah! Don't move my mouse. There. Slight movement in the mouse can disrupt it. Cool. Um. Move this guy. Use the equipment plate. Oops. There, equipment plate, PVO 175 auto Helen beam. Flip glitch that one in. Bingo! Alright, let's just move these guys in. You saw what I did before. You saw what I did. Okay. Oh shoot, why did I do that? <laughs> Remember my order. Okay. So is there a portal? There a portal. Okay, good. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. 
All right. Fixing things up. Boom. And a boom. Oops, delete both of them. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes. Oh, no, no. Yes. All right. All right. Oh, should have deleted that one. Get this back in. Variation glitch that one in. Perfect. Bring in the landing gear. There you go. Variation glitch that one in. Sweet. So yeah, now that it's lower, it's being, I think it's clipping something now. Yep, that's fine. Bring this one. Variation glitch to free and available snapping point. Boom. Other one. Variation glitch. Boom. Boom. Yeah. 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 Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah, that looks a lot better. It's a little bit lower. A little bit lower. Um, yeah, because there's another trick that we use, but it, we can't duplicate it here. <laughs> That's a like question by thought. It's like, can we though? No, it's not. No, yeah, we can't duplicate it because like the other one, it was this was set halfway in between, and then this was set to be normal. So that's yeah. So I, I kind of duplicated um, another ship to kind of make this the build for this for this idea faster. But anyway, I digress. Let's move over the um, we have going on here. All right, so this is what we got going on. Let's move this guy out. We're going to create a halfway point at this um, this piece right here. So what I'm going to do is move this over here, so we know that this is going to be on the half grid. All right. So this is on the half grid. So move. Yeah. See, it's kind of on the halfway point. So um, bring this in. Flip glitch to close an occupied snapping point. Let it stay there, and then we can move in these Nova Cowlings. So we have one on the other side. So let's go bring it this one over here. Flip glitch that one in. Oh, okay. Didn't like that. Let's go variation glitch then. Boom. Cool. On the other side, variation glitch. And now we have. Oh. That's funny. They just duplicate it. Alright. Oh. Duplicate. Don't move my mouse. There we go. Sweet. So we have that there now. I'm going to duplicate. Oh, I duplicated down. It's fine. Duplicate up. Duplicate up. And then duplicate back down. Delete. Delete. Delete this one down below. Oops. All right. And then we're going to move over Ulysses HE3 tank, the M50s, both side. Then we have these Nova Cowling 1Ls. Flip glitch that one up there, right by the Nova Bracer, right by the Nova Cowling. Then Deimos Cowling. Oh. Oh, did I miss a piece? Oh, those are Hubtech pipes. Those need to be a Nova Bracer. <laughs> Move this in, flip glitch that one in. This was a crazy build, guys, but. I like it. It's like, ooh. It's like, ooh, try this. Ooh, try this. Flip glitch that one in. Bring in Demos Bumper. Flip glitch that one in. Perfect. What else is left? It's just these guys. All right, sweet. Move the Hope Tech Radiators up above. These two Nova Bracers. Select them. Shift click drag your buddy stack here. Duplicate it down. And that is your Nighthawk X4, everybody. 
Thank you for bearing with me going over some thoughts in my head on how to make things better, faster, or whatever. Or correct. <laughs> Let's make things correct, Jeremy. Have you tried making things correct? Have you tried making things better? Jeremy, can you do better? There it is, everybody. That's your Nighthawk X4. Yeah. So I think I just made... I mean, you could technically make all these Hope Tech pipes just Nova Bracers if that makes it easy for you. But I do like the look of the Hope Tech pipes more in certain situations. But like these piece, just because of the structure. I mean, I could have made this a Hope Tech pipe as well and just have something else kind of move up in the middle to support this piece. Or not, because you need to kind of bridge it between the half grid to these other pieces. Anyway, more, less talking, more playing. Let's go. <laughs> Let's confirm this modification. Nighthawk X4. Let's go take a tour, guys. Look at this guy. It look, looks awesome. Let's go ahead and board it. All right. We made it, everybody. We made it. Whew. Whew. And first thing we're going to enter will be the control center. This is the Hope Tech control center. Here is the docker right there. And then up above, we should be entering the fuselage where everybody's hanging out for some reason. And then we go into the cockpit. And there it is, everybody. Let's go ahead and take a seat. Let's bring in our battle fun music or fun battle music. And don't forget, you find all the parts used in this build found in the description below. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as everything does help out. Let's go ahead and take this guy to battle because we are already in th we are already about 35 minutes in. Let's get out of here. Let's do some stuff. Let's, let's bring some joy and happiness to the people of Cricks. Take it to the key. As you can see, I'm only powering up um, three weapons here. That should be fine. All right. Let's go to Cricks. One of our favorite battlegrounds outside of Serpentis. Let's add some power to our grav drive, and while we're grav driving away, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hey! Alright, ready yet? Give some Reaper. Let's take you out. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Shields recharge, shields, shields recharge, repair. Re 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 we've hit this point, guys. <laughs> we've reached this point. We've, we did this to ourselves. We did this to ourselves. We didn't play that right at all. Shields, shields. Alright, I think we've, I think we've just away from that. There's what, one, two, three, four? Okay. All right, we gotta redeem ourselves now. We gotta redeem ourselves. We did, yeah, we didn't play. We didn't play it very well. <laughs> okay, okay. 
it's, it's that kind of day, isn't it? Like, oh, I totally did this wrong. Jeez, really? How am I not doing better? <laughs> it's like, hey Jeremy, can you do better? Hey Jeremy, Jeremy, hey Jeremy, can you do better, Jeremy? Jeremy, Jeremy, <laughs> have you tried doing better? All right, there you go. This is what happens when you have to. Oh no, that's not true. <laughs> Making excuses now. It's because I got a new mouse today, that's the reason why. I'm not used to it. <laughs> it's because it's because I got this today. I'm not used to it, guys. Alright everybody, we made it. That's it. That is your Nighthawk X4 and we'll, we'll repair it, sure. Because like we totally did not do a very impressive job with it, but anyway, this is the Nighthawk X4, um, and yeah, you could, I could, I could play better, but other than that, everybody, hope you had an amazing time watching this video, checking out this build, and bearing with me as I try to figure things out along the way. Um, but beyond that, have yourselves an amazing day. And once again, don't forget you can find all the parts in this build found in the Google Sheet, which is linked in the description below. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as everything does help out. Beyond that, guys, have yourselves an amazing day. And we will see you all next time. Peace out. And thank you so much for all love and support. As always, without you, we just wouldn't be doing what we're doing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. See you again real soon. Peace.